Denver, Colorado, en el corazón mismo del país. En una noche fría en el parque frente al edificio municipal, escuché la primera de varias historias de violencia y engaño por parte de la policía. Well, last Saturday, uh, we, we, we put up some tents and a couple of lean-tos and a squad or two of riot police, they just come across the street with no, they didn't give any warning to take it down. They just come across, start pushing people away from a lean-to that was right there. And then uh, somebody climbed up in a tree and they were taking pictures. Somebody throws a water bottle at them. I, I don't know where it hit them, but they're in full riot gear. So like a, a, a water bottle is not going to hurt them. And they start shooting, shooting and pepper spraying them with like uh, pepper bullets and stuff. This one guy, they, they pepper spray him in the eyes. And as he's washing it out, they shoot him right here in the face and right here in the neck. And the, the, the guy that was up in the uh, camera, or up in the trees, taking a picture, he, he got shot like 10 times until he fell out of the tree. And then they just came and gathered as many of uh, the riot place as they could for like two hours. I mean, I'd, I'd and then they just to took down the it. tents right here, took down the kitchen, stole all, our, all of our food many blankets and people's personal items that were left behind. Agentes provocadores y grupos infiltrados de la policía y el FBI son moneda común estos días. Aquí vemos a un grupo de supuestos anarquistas hablando con un auto de un presunto detective o agente de otro tipo. La política del movimiento Occupy es que todo se discute abiertamente y en asamblea. Esto indica que estos individuos no deberían hablar en privado con la policía la cual para hacer anuncios del grupo debe entregar documentos por escrito. De hecho, en un momento llegó un miembro de Copwatch, un grupo de monitoreo policial. To monitor law enforcement. Uh, uh, Denver is in the top 10 of uh, the cities nationwide of police abuse. So we monitor, we're trained legal observers basically is what we are, and law enforcement monitors. There's Copwatch in every major city. But they're all they're all independent groups. Little by little, they're starting to grow more. In this moment, when when was it founded? In what kind of uh, basically, it was because of Wall Street and the banks. Basically, the rich making the rich and the poor not making any money. Uh, but we're just here to see the police don't violate anybody's rights when they arrest anybody. They don't abuse them or their rights. Precisamente, este grupo produjo un video sobre infiltración policiaca en Oakland. Sean ustedes los jueces. Next time something like this happens. Well, there's some videos on YouTube that depict police officers in Oakland uh, basically infiltrating and playing clothes and starting havoc. There is also speculation on it because they do not want this movement to go on and the quicker that they can get it over with the better for them and they incite that by doing violence and coming in and that would be the smartest way for them to try to end this so we need to all stay peaceful and clean and give them no reason to come in we need to make this voice heard without making a physical Wave. I believe that we are always police stated. Um, there has been groups that have actually shown that several things were, you know, people were being hacked um, with, against their will by the government. Uh, I mean, you can look at the top 
hackers of our government that worked for the CIA, and most of them were previously caught hacking the CIA and are employed to hack for them. I believe that this Patriot Act was just them trying to make it legal so that they couldn't get caught up in it, but they were doing it all along. So to answer your question, we've always been a police state. Um, as soon as the Federal Reserve took over, we, we became the, uh, the police state. Reportando para Telesur, yo soy Oscar León, el reportero del Sur.